looking pretty good. Hey guys, my laundromat's made $128,250.10. Let's see how much more it made this week. Hey guys, this is Brandon with Investment Joy. Do you ever wish that you had cash flowing businesses like me, like a laundromat or a car wash, a bunch of vending machines? We've got this great program called Ultimate Joy. It's a 12 month intensive coaching program taught exactly by me once a week. So if you've ever wanted to get this kind of coaching and training directly from me, check out Ultimate Joy, which is on investmentjoy.com. Book a call with one of the guys on my team today and they'll go over all the information with you. Thanks for coming. I appreciate your business. Oh, well, thank you. I'm here. You're here. Okay. Well, I might as well give some away. Very cool. Yeah, thank you. God bless you, sir. He does. Yes, he does. I thought it was still recording here. So, we got, I need to drain pump on this one's out. Somebody filled it up with freaking pine saw. Which is a saw. So, we got this, this one out yesterday, I think. In this it's full of stuff so there could be a there could be a sock that's run down in it I could be wrong but it's just it's what happens sometimes either a sock gets in there and breaks it or last cycle was some guy filled up with pine so not too bad of a day I obviously have no regards for my personal safety which is cool. We had three silver quarters at the car wash in one day. Yeah, one day last month. And now I'm back up and up. Pretty good. I mean, this is pretty normal, but uh, when we pull quarters out of here, I had it, uh, the machine restocked. Really busy weekend, and now we're in the end of the month. So this month, uh, it's been pretty solid. <laughs> You're bringing clothes in boxes, okay. You'll win the uniqueness award. I haven't seen anybody do that before. I have seen people bring in just boxes and leave them here, so. Yeah, I have chair covers in. Okay, there you go. That makes sense. It's actually the guy that services that machine is the old owner of the laundromat, which is kind of funny. So he's coming in now and refilling it, and now we're actually having people play the coin pusher again. Now, the thing is, I've been hiding money in the drinks and the snacks and stuff, which we talked about that a little bit. I'm looking at getting a mini crane. Like, I want to get another game here for people to play. I don't want it to be, like, prize-driven, but I'm not sure, like, what to do. But I need to figure out how to do a claw machine crane. And the bill machine's almost out right now, so. You gotta go through with the right. uh, I'll get the dryer today, but I won't get this one. I am so thrilled this machine has not failed on me yet. So as we got close with the camera and the microphone to these dryers that were in operation, it gets really loud. The cool thing is we fixed this. We got totally new audio for all the future videos. I'm super excited. Oh. I haven't been down here for a long time. I have my own walk here. Oh, okay. So are you... Did... No, thank you. No, you hey, it's always clean in here. It's always nice. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is a lot cleaner. Yeah, it's in our expansion plans is blowing out the wall back there. I don't know if you remember how it used to be. Yeah, all the Yeah, stuff was so back. everything's still back there as far as hookups. But I'm thinking about knocking this one wall out and juggling the number of washers or dryers that we have. Right. Because I have a ton of washers, not enough dryers right now. So that's in the plan when I have more money. So I work. We have uh, another evening worth of quarters in there. So. I wish I should have brought more. 
the sound. I'm pretty good. So this is our payout on the quarter pusher. So let's take a look at this real quick. This is our profit from the past two or three weeks on the quarter pusher. So um, I just said that we were almost, the, the quarter machine in there, the exchanger is not totally full, which is my fault because I've got a bucket with like another $500 worth of quarters in it back at the office. So we're gonna take these and we'll throw those back in the machine too. Um, but yeah, let's see how much this is, this is real quick. So every pound of quarters is 20 bucks. 10 pounds, you just have to trust me. So there's exactly $200 worth of quarters in here and we'll throw them back in the machine. I hear people in there getting more money out of the machine, which is cool. This will be a pretty good collection. The problem is, I guess it's a good problem to have. It's the audio sucks when we have customers, but I don't want a dead laundromat. I make good money off YouTube videos, but I also make, you know, we're doing about $6,000 a month right now on the laundromat, probably more. As a part of this video, we'll show how much we've been at for the, this month, file all the numbers, the total revenue for the laundromat, which is cool because I still don't have hardly any money out of pocket. Full disclosure, I did pay for the new roof with YouTube money. It was $10,000, but uh, we ha now have a brand new, really awesome looking roof. And this is pretty, pretty crappy. Wow. So this is what we did in four days. I think off of this vending machine. Oh, this is pre pretty solid for coins for uh, vending. So I don't know. No, no, I know what it is. My girl did not restock this machine till probably today. We were running out of drinks and it just wasn't being stopped. That's I'm going to take a guess and see the Coke machine did for this. Now, once again, this machine here, I spent only $600 on. The Pepsi machine came free with the laundromat, and I bought the laundromat for only uh, $15,000 down. I didn't pay it, somebody else did, because I uh, called a friend of mine and said, hey, you wanna own a laundromat? Like, long story short, I got the down payment and all the re renovation funds from a private uh, lender for only 8% interest, I think it was. So I had no money to purchase this laundromat. And if that's something that you want to learn to do, learn to do deals with no money down, use other people's credit on laundromats, car washes and whatnot, check out investmentjoy.com because we're now doing coaching and live training and all sorts of good stuff there. So I would appreciate it if you would consider that. But it's kind of cool, you know, having a business like this where I've reinvested some YouTube money into laundromat, but mostly it's just been a self-perpetuating thing. I come out, I collect money once or twice a week, and I don't have to put any money out of pocket unless I really, really want to. We could have nursed it along for another couple of years. And pretty well stocked. All right, Let's see how many. Let's see if I'm right. We did okay on bills here. Could be wrong. Ah, we did more here than on the the Coke machine. Put some there. Get the coins out of here. Oh, hey, cool. Someone paid with a gold dollar. I take these out because the Jams fake Coinstar machine that I made. I don't know if you guys understand it yet, but I built my own uh, coin sorter machine out of multiple smaller coin machines. Because an actual Coinstar or a Cummins Jet Sort, hey, I found a nickel. Yay. A Cummins Jet Sort's like 25 grand. So I built one in the office for a heck of a lot less. So for some this one never does well on coins. This one does great on coins. Maybe it's just because the drinks are cheaper. Now we're going to uh, go inside and hide some money, snacks, and we'll have to be quiet about it. I mean, it's not that I don't want the customers to know, but I don't want the customers to know. Way cooler if it's like a total surprise. One of the neighbors here got the 20, last $20 off Mountain Dew can that I put it on. The guy that got the $20 got on Facebook, and he told pretty much the whole entire world that I was hiding money here and it went viral and it did very, very good for me, which was my intended purpose. Bending real quick. Let's see how much we've gotten bills. We'll, we have to combine the, uh, the vending from today. So I, didn't, I didn't bring the fancy bags out today. That's pretty good. We do it on M&M's. Throw it away in the trash. That would suck. So, like, this is boosting my sales so much. It cost me $10 and I make like an easy $100 in free advertising all the time. So, and that's it.
we have a brand new counter here and it counts the full stack of money. I don't have to separate the tens or the twenties or whatever. So we're gonna run this through, you know, it's new to me. It does not like wrinkly bills because it actually scans the serial number on it. And some of these serial numbers are worth a lot of money. See how much money our laundromat made over the past weekish. Too crinkly. Okay, staggers full. We're at 200 bills already counted, $659. I'll take this over here. We'll redo these bills in a little bit. These. And it's scanning both sides of the bill, which is insane. Thanks to Cassadia. Okay, suspicious $1 bill because the corners are screwed up. Another suspicious bill, corners screwed up. Okay, let's see, another $1 bill that's torn, rejected. It's very cool. I appreciate these guys sending me this machine. All right, so we got another 20 here, and we are at uh, $1,818 for the past week of the laundromat. Nice. We're going to reset this, and we're going to see how much money our drink and snack machines made. Cool, four to six dollars. Now we're gonna go to the coin counter and see how much it did. This is our quarters, nickels, dimes from our donations. All right, it's going to start in our machine and we've got it configured so the quarters drop down into our very own this is not a regular menards bucket this is now an investment joy brand bucket doesn't it look great so that's going to be our quarter bucket this is our nickel bucket this is our dimes we got to get a dime bucket around here soon so this is our last stage this is our nickel stage this is our quarter stage oh i found a bicentennial so we're going to put this over here and on one of our next podcasts we'll give that one away so we're going to start this and see how it goes The jam was 214, so we gotta add 214 to this. So it's actually 625, cool. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna see how many nickels we have. All right, cool. 59 nickels. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna do our dime count. And see how we do on our dimes. And once again, we give these to the kid upstairs at the laundromat. 68 dimes, 59 nickels, 615 quarters, and $46 in bills. And we're going to calculate that on the screen because I'm lazy. So here's the totals on the screen in here. We're going to add them to the total and the spreadsheet. Pretty cool. This is our snack money here, and this is from the car wash. Okay, so here we are on my actual bank account. So this is the old total going back to the start of the account. This is the equipment payment. This is the check for uh, my mortgage. This is one of the last deposits we did. Uh, hundred, my insurance, I have no clue what I paid $40 for. Um, this is, uh, I sent somebody to um, Sam's Club. This is my electric bill, which is like four, it was 450 that month. Deposit there, deposit there. The month of June, get the total here. Some here to here, cool. All right, so the month of June. New, we're at a new deposit right here. 1826 plus 45, is that right? 
So 1,871. That brings our new total for the laundromat to $128,250.10 over about a two-year period. And in the month of June, that's going to bring the month of June up to $4,850, which is a little bit lower than last month. Last month was around six grand. We still got an apartment to rent out and uh, we probably got some more time here to, we probably get another 300 bucks, 400 bucks out of laundromat. So a little bit lower, but we're still very much profitable. Make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think about spreadsheets.